Ahoy there, TD Summer Reading Club aficionados. Uh, welcome to my video. I am author, illustrator, all-round nice guy, Rob Justice. Here, I am the TD Summer Reading Club illustrator this year. Hopefully you've seen my stuff. Hopefully you have checked out one of my books over here and some of the other ones that are not behind me. Um, and today, I want to talk to you guys uh, about the tools of the trade that I use to uh, draw, write, and make books. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I thought, you know, I'll start off with the big guns first. And that is when I'm writing and drawing a book, I use my iPad. I use my iPad Pro. Look at that. And I specifically use a program called Procreate. So here you can see a lot of the stuff I've worked on. There you can see some of the TD Summer Reading Club art that I made. Look at all that. I use that with a fancy Apple Pencil. And I've actually drawn Kid Coach. Brave Enough, Death and Sparkles, and Crayola follow that line all on the iPad. There's Brave Enough here. You can see some of the art that I made. And then you can see I'm busy working away on Death and Sparkles 2, which I'm only a year behind in making. All good. So first and foremost, Apple iPad, that's, that's the big guns. But you wanna know what? If you like to draw and you like to write, you don't need this. You don't need this thing at all. No, all you need is some trusty pens. I like to use a few colors to liven things up. A nice purple, a black pen, a red pen, and a blue pen for my writing. And then for my drawing, I like to use some pencil crayons or colored pencils uh, as some people call them. So I use a very limited palette. I use specifically a brand called Faber Castile, if you could see that. Whoa. And they're kind of fancy. They're, they're a little fancy. I just like the way they feel. Uh, you know, they were gifted to me by my parents a few years ago. And I said, wow, these feel great. And uh, I just stuck with them. And I only use about, geez, maybe eight colors, a couple blues, a red, a pink, a purple, a couple greens and an orange and a yellow. Boom, I'm all set. And that's my main, main tools. And that's where a lot of my ideas come from. And with that, since you have great uh, pencil crayons, you need to get a good pencil sharpener. And by good pencil sharpener, I just mean any pencil sharpener. As long as it sharpens, you're good to go. And then when you got your pens and your pencils, you need a notebook. You need a sketchbook or two to put all your ideas down and, uh, you know, make sure you don't forget everything. I know as I get older, since I'm well into my th 40s now, almost at 30s, whoo, you know, I have to write everything down. I don't remember things as well as I used to. And that, I just write down idea after idea after idea, tips. Sometimes it's just a line that'll pop into my head. Sometimes it'll just be something that sounds fun, like, Pizza Pen Pals. Mmm, that sounds fun. And then for my notebooks, I am a little picky, but all you need is just a blank piece of paper to draw on. Really, that's all you need. You don't need any fancy tech uh, to be amazing. And it's just do what you feel is right. So I have a, I believe a moleskin notebook here. They're kind of expensive. I just like the way it feels. Maybe I'm doing it because all the cool kids do it. I'm not sure. But I use that, and I just 
sketch away. You can sketch some snakes or some snakes and vultures with a raccoon and a coyote. And then sometimes a death and sparkles in there. And I drew all of death and sparkles, that book right there in a notebook, just like this. Every little bit and piece, thinking of lines, thinking of how the pages look, just like that. And all I did was I took a picture of them and then I brought it into Procreate on my iPad and did it that way. But really the best way to draw is keep it simple. Do what works for you. You know, if you like to use crayons, use crayons. If you like to use, you know, a uh, plaster scene and take pictures of it, go for it. Uh, art is whatever you want to be. And if you feel good about it, that's all that matters, really. Uh, just keep going and use what tools work for you. Don't, you know, try to copy anybody else. Uh, you do you and uh, you just draw away. And that's what it's all about. That's what makes it fun. And yeah, those are the tools that I use. iPad, sketchbook, notebook, pencil crayons, pens. Boom, good to go. And that's how I make all this magic. Or I hope it's magic at least. Anyway, I'm Rob Justice, your TD Summer Reading Club illustrator. I hope you check out everything on the TD Summer Reading Club website or pick up some of the books from your local library. And I hope you have a great day. See ya.